right, so to start, we're gonna remove this back seat, grab underneath, There's it's held on by two clips, pop it up, there's one on each side. Now pull it up and out, set it aside. Now let's lift up this cover. It's just held on by some beetle tape. So it's just some sticky goo there basically that holds it down. So pry it up with whatever you have. Watch out for this stuff because it sticks. And uh, if it gets on your carpet or your clothes, it's most likely not going to come off. And to move this a little more out of the way, I'm going to disconnect the connector for the fuel pump. Sometimes these get stuck with sand here, so I might, might need a screwdriver to help me pry the locking tab in. There we go. Pull this up, set it aside. I have a vacuum cleaner here. I'm going to vacuum up all this debris before I open anything with the fuel system. You don't want electric motors running, inhaling, or sucking in um, fuel fumes because they can make sparks and well, you know what happens after that. Now there's two bolts that hold this cover on, one over here and one over there. So let's remove those, that way we can disconnect the fuel line. Eight millimeter socket, remove both of those. Now we can disconnect the fuel line. To do that, you wanna pinch down on the, these two clips here. Sometimes using pliers is a little bit easier. Watch out because fuel might come out. So I'm gonna hold a rag right on top of it. That way it doesn't spray right at my face. There we go. There wasn't much. The car has been sitting um, for about 24 hours. So the fuel pressure dropped a little bit. There's still obviously going to be fuel in the line, but it won't spray. And at this point, we can unbolt the rest of the eight millimeter bolts that hold up this pump and then pull it right up and out. I recommend not using electric tools. Again, electric motors and fuel fumes don't really go together very well, so I'm using my air ratchet. If you don't have one, just do it by hand. At this point, move the hose aside, wiggle the assembly, and it should break free. Lift it right up and out. Watch out when you're lifting it because it will have gas in it, or on it, I should say, so you don't want to spill it everywhere. Now you just find the right position that it wants to be in, in order to come right out. Watch out for this, you don't wanna catch it and break it. Here it is, let's get it over a collection bucket and replace the pump, which is right here. Now I have the fuel pump assembly in a little bucket here. It's going to leak fuel, so make sure you're working in a safe area. Let's unplug it first. Press down on this connector to unlock it and press it, or uh, pull it out. Gonna use some pliers to help me out here. There we go. Now we have to disconnect this hose. Grab the hose clamp, I'll just pull it off the top. The hose clamp on the bottom is in a little bit of a tight spot, so we'll worry about that once the pump is off. At this point, you can pry out the pump from the bottom, just like that. Oops, this came off. Set the uh, connector aside and twist the hose and remove it. There we go. Here's your old fuel pump. Let's take the whole hose completely off. Oh, I'm gonna move this one first. I'll just take it off for now. Take the hose off. It's kind of stuck on there. Give it a couple twists. There we go. Let's pry this retainer out of here. Now this should pop right off. There we go. It's kind of stuck in here. It's got a gasket. So here's your old fuel pump. So your fuel pump should have, your kit should have come with all these items here. Uh, I have a new filter, the little sock that goes on the bottom, and then you have these two rubber grommets that the fuel pump sits in on the bottom right here. And you have to figure out which one you have. Well, for this ES300, it's the smaller one. Um, this fuel pump, I guess, fits m multiple applications. So we'll discard this big one. And uh, we don't need this. So we'll put that aside too. Should come with a new fuel hose and a couple clamps. So let's get all of this connected. 
remove the cap from the bottom here and then remove the cap from the inside of the uh, fuel filter, very important. Otherwise you won't be sucking up any fuel. Slide this on, press it down all the way. All right, press this on. If for some reason it doesn't go on, you can very gently tap it with something. Um, just be very careful so you don't break it. And then you should have this little locking retainer that comes with it. You press this down and that's how it gets locked in. It's a little difficult, but it's so tiny. Maybe with a screwdriver I can press it down and make sure it's bottomed out completely on all sides. And these little tabs that are spiky like this kind of grab onto this little plastic pin and lock this on so it doesn't fall off in the fuel tank. That wouldn't be great. Okay, this is on. Flip it over and you'll see this is capped off as well. Of course, remove that. Now get your fuel hose, slide it on. Make sure it's bottomed out all the way. Let's put one of the clamps on, slide it down. Looks like it needs to open up a little more. Okay, that's low enough. You can see the fitting actually ends here, starts here, and I want it somewhere in the middle, so this is perfect. Snug it up. Don't over tighten these because they will strip out and break. Obviously you can reuse your original clamps if you want to, but why not put some new ones on? And at this point, we wanna actually put it inside of the fuel pump assembly. Don't forget the top clamp though. Slide this on first, and now, you wanna grab your uh, rubber grommet on the bottom here. This one slides on just like that and it should fit perfectly on the uh, fuel pump. Okay, press it down, make sure it's sitting nice and flush on the fuel pump. Let's slide this onto the top first, that way you can get the hose on. Might be a little tricky because the hose is a very tight fit. There we go, make sure it's bottomed out. There we go. And now slide it on the bottom, line it up with the support here. Pops right in, perfect. Pull it down all the way, that way you ensure that it's seated up against the bottom. That's very important. And then you tighten up this top hose clamp here. Let's loosen this one up a little bit because it's a little too tight to slide over. And slide it up. kind of halfway in between the top of the hose and where this fitting ends. You can see right here it gets narrower, so that's where it ends. And snug it up. I'll give it one more turn. There we go, right there. That's perfect. Let's reconnect it. Oops, goes this way. All right, now let's put this top ring on because it fell off just like that. Now we can reinstall it. Grab your fuel pump assembly, slide it down just like that. Position it approximately how it was before. So I remember that the connector was on that side. The fuel hose or the fuel line went out this way. You can't really put it another way because it won't line up. At this point, make sure all the bolt holes line up which they do, and now we can bolt this on. So grab all of your little tiny bolts, and I will actually do this by hand. I'm gonna uh, run them down a little bit with my air tool, but I wanna snug them up by hand because these are so tiny that they can very easily break, and I don't want that to happen. So let's try and line them all up. Sometimes this can be difficult because this ring wants to move around and off. Move it over here. And then there's this one. And then I believe this one over here was also holding the bracket, so I won't be putting that one on yet. But I did have this one over here. That needs to go on. Just gonna get these close, nice and snug. I'll go in a cross pattern, that way the fuel pump can seat itself evenly. Again, don't go crazy tight on these, you'll break them. Snug and maybe a little extra, but that's it. Just feel it out. Okay, let's connect. 
connect the fuel line. Let's connect this fuel pump, connect the main feed line, make sure it clicks in. Okay, let's put this cover back on and then resecure it with the two bolts. Snug them up. Now flip this cover over, connect the electrical connector to the pump. Make sure that clicks. There we go. And now put the cover back on. There's a, there's a little nub right here. The nub lines up with this cutout. That's how you know which way it's supposed to go. And also this triangle points to this indent on the uh, body of the vehicle. Anyway, press it down. Make sure it seals up. If for some reason it doesn't, you can get some more butyl tape, stick it on there, make it seal up somehow. It's important that you don't get debris, water, fumes, anything in the car. So we're here. Now let's get the back seat on. Get the back seat back in. Make sure your seat belts are going through. Press it in and back at the same time. And when these tabs at the front are lined up, you'll feel them want to slide down. Press them. Let's go on the other side. Press this side in as well. Oh, this one's not lined up yet. There we go. Perfect. Now start up the vehicle. Make sure it runs smoothly.